in this repair video, we're going to be working on a video card, the 1070 Ti. I got it right over here, 1070 Ti. And it was mailed in because the customer knocked off a capacitor of the board, and he did mail the capacitor along with the board. If we look here, customer specified MSI, 1071 Ti. 1071, I think the customer meant 1070 Ti. Location EC 161, 270 16 volts. Okay, right now we see capacitors here, but I do not see any one of them missing. Those caps they are all in place, nothing missing. And we have one here, and right there, right there, we have a capacitor missing from here. Let's see if that reads the same number as the customer specified EC 161. That's it, right here. So plus is on the right side and negative is on the left. So let's go ahead and apply solder onto those pads and take care of this cap. The cap looks good. I do not see that the legs are damaged, so we should be able to use the same cap. Fume extractor. And let's apply solder here. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is not apply hot air. We do not want to expose the board to a lot of heat, especially that this capacitor is next to those plastic connectors right here. So we do not want to do that. We're going to use our soldering iron to solder that capacitor on here and not hot air, so the capacitor should solder down like this in this orientation Right now the cap is not good because the legs are actually loose and disconnected from the actual capacitor. Look at this. The legs are so weak and they disconnected from the capacitor. They got stuck on the pads and disconnected from the capacitor. The capacitor seemed loose, so I was checking and the capacitor came right off. So right now we will need to replace the whole capacitor. We cannot reuse the same one. Let's get rid of this. We're going to have to find a capacitor with the same value and completely replace it. All we have to do is get the same value capacitor, solder it on, and we should be good. I do have a donor video card here. It's not the same video card, but they share the same capacitors. So we're going to remove one of those caps and solder it on the customer's board. Let's remove this one here. I increased the brightness, but because this is a shiny surface, it's going to seem overexposed. We're going to use hot air, and I do not like to use hot air on those capacitors, but right now we do not have an option. And that's what happens when you heat up those capacitors. Look at this. I knew this was going to happen. I was trying to apply as minimal heat as possible and not on the cap itself, but on the board. But that's what happens when you apply heat onto those capacitors. It blows up. Look at this. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen and that's why I wore my goggles. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. That's your lesson for the day. Do not apply heat onto those capacitors. And it smells like fireworks.
Right now I have an iMac motherboard and we have the same value capacitor, same size, same value right over here. And the nice thing about this capacitor is it's a through hole. So we're gonna desolder it from the back. And when the capacitor is a through hole, it's actually better for us because we can spread the legs open like this and then we can solder each end of the cap and not having to apply any heat onto the customer's board. Whereas if we got the same exact capacitor that's an SMD and not a through hole, then we're gonna have to apply heat and anytime you apply heat, there's a risk that the capacitor can blow. And especially that that cap is right next to a plastic connector. So applying hot air is always risky when working with those boards. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this cap here. We're gonna apply either low melt solder or we're gonna wake off solder from the bottom here to remove the cap. Fume extractor. And let's wake off as much solder as possible. It's only two tiny blobs, but this is unleaded solder. So it's hard to wake unleaded solder unless we apply low melt or we can apply leaded. Now we can wick solder off. Okay, and the cap is out right here. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna spread the legs, like I said both legs onto the sides. So one is gonna go this way and one is gonna go the other way, like this. Beautiful, beautiful. Now we're gonna solder it onto the customer's board, right over here. Just like that. Just like that. One end is soldered. We're gonna fix it, make it nice and pretty, but let's do leg number two. Leg number two, right over here. Very nice. Very solid and very nice. We're gonna apply more flux and we're gonna make this look nice and pretty. And let's go over leg number two. Very nice. The cap is super solid and the legs are soldered on nicely. Look at this, one and two. Clean up, invoice the customer, and mail it back then. So what have you learned from this video? Leave it down in the comments, and I'll tell you if you were paying attention or not. Awesome. So, right there, look at the job that we did. Look at how we soldered the two legs that we spread open. So the job is done. We're gonna reassemble, invoice, and mail this back to the customer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video.